Good morning everyone. If you're wondering why it looks like I've just literally been dragged through a bush, it's because I just got back from the gym. So I've got a big photo shoot today and I'm going to have to be showing my abs for a lot of it and I'm going to be in a sports bra and I have been prepping up all week for this shoot and I just wanted to show you guys what I would typically eat on a day that I do have a shoot and it's pretty similar to how I eat today's leading up to the shoot. So I try and cut back on carbs and really increase my fat intake because that helps me de-bloat, it helps me get rid of a lot of my water and um, I just like my fats to be honest. But So I have been really increasing my fats, lots of coconut oil and everything and I went to the gym faster today to do a bit of a weight session, a little bit of cardio. I'm gonna go make my breakfast now and then I'm going to do a little bit of yoga and stretching because for my shoot today I'm going to have to be doing lots of flexibility based poses so I don't want to pull and tear or anything and trust me done that before not pleasant not fun Jax isn't friendly when she can't do her yoga so let's go and see what I'm having for breakfast so this is definitely my go-to breakfast in the morning at the moment or even as a snack so I've got 25 grams of my chocolate vegan protein powder and then I added 5 grams of cacao powder because I'm a chocolate fan. Then just a little bit of almond milk, about 100 grams, whatever works. And then I added in 2 teaspoons, which is 1 tablespoon of coconut oil, which helps keep me full throughout the day and it helps me with my blood sugar spikes in case like if I have a high sugary breakfast or whatever. Then I added in some hot coffee, which you can see I made on the side. So it's pretty much like a chocolate bulletproof coffee. Whisk that all up in the... And then I added some cacao nibs in it, which was really nice because they started melting because the drink was hot. So I... Uh, so I am on my way to my photo shoot right now. I have snacked on a handful of almonds. And so after that breakfast, which had the coconut oil, so it was super filling. Almonds are one of my favorite. Sorry, I snacked on walnuts, not almonds. So almonds are one of my favorite nuts, like usually my nut of choice, but they have a higher carb ratio, so they do bloat me quite a bit. So for a day like today, when I've got a lot of photos and I'm gonna be showing my stomach, then I mainly stick to things like walnuts, but I did pack an almond milk cappuccino with, with me, which kind of seems like counterintuitive when I've worked so hard to control my caffeine intake and everything but I'm like Jax no 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 for me to be friendly and have energy on the photo shoot I need coffee because I function only on coffee caffeine is my life force pretty much like what the force is to Luke Skywalker it just makes him tick and that's what coffee is to me can you tell I've already had two cups and like all jittery and wiry so excited but then they told me to show up now at the photo shoot today with no makeup and I'm not someone that wears a lot of makeup every day it's just base and like foundation and mascara without that I feel naked I feel butt naked I'm actually more comfortable being naked in front of a camera when I've got makeup on I'm like fine but even being clothed with no makeup I'm like what is this madness who are you people? Why would you do this? Okay, so I just finished my photo shoot that took about three hours and I am so hungry. By the way, that's not for my baby. That is my little sister. I'm driving my dad's car at the moment. Before anyone thinks, oh my God, she has a baby. I'm like, no, I don't got no baby. Anyway, he's off track. Yes, that was a long photo shoot, amazing. But I started looking at the camera thinking, I wonder if that's edible. And I wonder if something will happen to me if I eat it. This isn't a drill, folks. We gotta get home and eat the food that has been prepped. I knew this would happen, so I prepped my food. But you know, it's more important that I take time to let everyone know that I'm suffering before I start driving, because you see, you guys knowing I'm suffering makes me feel better. I like to be people to suffer with me. I don't believe in suffering in silence, so. Anyway, I will check in with you guys when I get home and 
show you what I'm gonna eat. Okay, so there was a change of plans and I had to meet one of the food bloggers here for a meeting about my book coming up and I didn't have time to go for lunch and then it was only a really crappy little convenience store that I could run into and this was pretty much the healthiest thing I could find. It's a toasty almond super bites bar and it's got organic almonds, organic golden flax seeds, white sesame seeds, chia seeds and like some maple syrup so it's actually really healthy and good. Can't believe I haven't heard of these before. So I'm gonna nosh on one of these bad boys before I before I become very, very, very violent to the people around me because I'm not safe when I'm low on blood sugar. So I'm gonna eat that and I've only got like one hand here and I will let you guys know how that is because this looks super healthy and if this is good, me thinks Jax is gonna start making this a regular because they're super cheap and it's got almonds. Need I say more? Oof. Yeah. Bloody hair in my face. Okay, this is actually hilarious, so I thought I would share it. What said six servings on the box? Didn't even make it to the first traffic light. That was one of the tastiest things I had ever bought. I did not expect it to be so salty. And there's a reason why I will not be buying it again, because this would not be safe in my house. This six servings is gone. I'm sitting outside this blogger's house, all about healthy eating and lifestyle, and I'm just like, yeah. I ate like six portions, six servings, in about 10 minutes flat. No, not even 10 minutes. It was gone a long time ago, and I thought, nice. Nice jacks, but was it worth it? Yes. Would I do it again? Yes. But uh, I will see you when I get home and I get a chance to actually make myself something green. I need something green today. To make my guacamole and hummus toast. So to make the hummus, I added in a cup of chickpeas and I also added the liquid from the chickpeas into my Nutribullet. Then I added half a lemon with about half a cup of sliced almonds, some pink Himalayan salt, and some garlic paste. Blended that all up in the nutri bullet. I love adding nuts into my hummus, it just adds a little bit of extra zhuzh. Then I used my favorite packaged guacamole. It's all pure or natural, it's pretty spicy, and I like spice on my food. Put that on my Ezekiel bread, which just came out the toaster with the hummus on top of it, and then sprinkled some walnuts. So I was starving, I hadn't eaten the meeting. I started looking at her face like it was like a big, juicy, we'll say apple. She's got a pretty head, so I'm gonna say it was a pretty fruit. And so as I got home, this was the quickest, most efficient thing I could make. I was so excited, I thought I had my vegan muffins in the fridge, but someone, not naming any names, decided to have a snack attack. Worst thing, they had no idea they were vegan. So they ate them, they're like, oh, these muffins are amazing. I was like, that was one of my vegan muffins. They were like, oh my God, they were vegan. Ah. They didn't feel bad that they ate my muffins. They felt bad that they ate vegan muffins. Anyway, not the point. So here, this is one of my things because I have another photo shoot day after tomorrow. So this is pretty much, this whole week is about staying more toned and lean and Yes, breads are hard, but you know, it works with my body, it doesn't bloat me, it might bloat you. And on here I have my guacamole, by the way, that is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to buy from the store. It's got cilantro in it, garlic, lemon, and then I just showed you guys my homemade hummus, and then I add some extra protein to it by adding the almonds into the mixture and then some coconut oil for my fats, I've got my fats in my avo, I've got a bit of walnut sprinkled on the top and this is one of my favorite grab and go snacks and the protein bar did help me in the car. This is incredible, I'm gonna eat it and then I'm going to let you guys know, I don't know, I don't really feel like cooking dinner. Today might be a breakfast for dinner kind of day but I'm gonna see how I feel and I will check in with you guys later. It's actually like half past five now, so like, even if I'm not too hungry by seven o'clock, it's dinner time. Doesn't matter if you're hungry or not, like my body just snaps in, okay, you gotta eat now. So yes, that's me rambling again. I will see you guys in my next clip.
<laughs> so turns out I did get pretty hungry for dinner, but thank goodness I had some things meal prepped already. So first I had a cooked sweet potato. I put some of that guacamole that I used earlier on inside. It is amazing together. It's so creamy. And then I had already meal prepped some quinoa and lentils together. And on top of that, I just added some fresh tomatoes because I just wanted something extra fresh, some coconut oil and some salt. And also a fresh squeeze of lemon because freshness we can trust. Hey guys, so as you can see, just prep that quickly and the, that's the best thing about meal prepping when you're really busy throughout the week. So I have tons of photo shoots and I'm running from A to B and never know what time I'm going to get back. So instead of reaching for something, you know, unhealthy in a fast food store or whatever, that's why I meal prep and that's why things like lentils and sweet potatoes, they are so good to just cook at the beginning of the week. So all you've got to do is heat them up, throw it together. This is just the lentil and quinoa mixture, just so it wasn't purely lentils. And I like having the complete range in amino acids and proteins because quinoa has an like, amazing range of amino acids. It's brilliant, but then lentils are really high in iron too. So having half and half of both, also if I have too many lentils, I can get bloated, which is why I like to mix them as well. And then of course I have that leftover guacamole from just my phone. I had that leftover guacamole from earlier on and I was like, eh, I'm just gonna finish it. But yeah, so this just shows you why it is so important to meal prep. So I am going to chug that down and then I will let you guys know if I snack later. I will let you guys know when I snack later. Hey guys, just checking in with you. So it's movie night with my mom and everyone usually eats chocolate as wine and because I'm watching myself, I wanted to show you my vegan snack, something that I love to have at night if I'm craving something sweet. And hold on, let me just put the camera down. So over here, I have a one banana. I have some coconut flakes with some cacao nibs and then some peanut butter over here. This is fresh, crunchy peanut butter. It is my favorite type. This is just, I had one chocolate covered, one chocolate covered Inca Berry left, and I just wanted to use that. And so yeah, it's coconut, banana, cacao, a little bit of almonds, and peanut butter. Whoa! Damn, I just take my makeup off, so my skin is looking fresh. And so um, that high fat snack at night stops me from pecking later on and then I don't wake up in the morning very hungry and that's why I find it easier to just chill, do my workout with my coffee of course and then so that's why I always recommend to people having a higher fat snack in the evening instead of a high carb because that means you wake up ravenous. You don't want that blood sugar spike and drop before you go to bed. Yes, there is banana, which is high carb, but it's paired with fats. It's all the good stuff for you folks. Seriously, try that as a movie night snack and let me know what you think. So I'm going to cut it off here. I am exhausted, excited for a movie, and I will check in with you guys next time. Mwah.